I am the champ that runs the camp. I am the unbeatable, unstoppable champ that's been holding down SmackDown Live since you've been gone. Seth Rollins, I think you have some misconceptions about me. What you call disrespect, I call honesty. Let's set the record straight. I am in no way intimidated or afraid If there was a glimmer of doubt, a shred of trepidation, the moment I rose up in front of 70-something thousand fans... And I know you're at home right now, so I'm going to speak directly to you. But put the kiddos to bed. Mama probably doesn't want to see this either. They asked me to come back. They asked me to come back because you know, big old piece of humble pie and you're gonna get one when I beat your ass at SummerSlam. Well, you know what? I, I can accept that now because I think I found a way to get there and it depends on the answer to the challenge I'm about to issue. The co-host of Talking Smack is not the co-host of Talking Smack tonight. While the champion of the people, the intercontinental champion that had a contract to sit in this chair tonight, why am I not here, Kayla? Well, it's the greatest thing that I've ever accomplished. In my mind, I came back to this company with one goal in mind, and that was to conquer... Should I say, Alan Jones? I mean, since we're being real now, you know, for such a small man, you got a really big mouth. And I don't know if you have a big set or you're just really that stupid. You should have smartened yourself up before you came back because when people step in the ring with me I smash them so bad that WWE don't have a use for them anymore you understand